Wouldn't it be great if you could go back in time, not too far, let's just say about a year, where you could adjust your investments so that you didn't take such a beating from 2022? And no, I'm not going to ask if you'd make different investment choices because that would be like me asking if you like breathing. Some things are just obvious. But the reality is most of us never considered a certificate of deposit as a great investment because we have all been trained like hardened athletes that CDs offer the worst rates for investments at around 1-2%. to Well, I'm here to tell you that things are completely different today. Hi everyone, Brian here, and in today's video I'm going to cover the best rates available for certificates of deposit and multi-year guaranteed annuities, which are also referred to as a CD type annuity. And every traditional CD option today has a rate at or above 5% APY. I am very excited to cover the material today because the rates on CDs and similar product are extremely high and it makes for a very attractive investment. And I'm guessing that in a year's time that the terms attractive and CD will not be coming together in a sentence for me. In fact, I think the last time that happened for me was in 1999 when I fell victim to the Columbia House fire sale of 12 CDs for only a penny. And that's when I learned the value of reading the fine print. But before we dive into the rates on CDs, let's make sure that we're all on the same page with what CDs are and the different options that are available. And then we'll tackle the mysterious creature known as a multi-year guaranteed annuity, or a MIDA, and why it's considered a CD type annuity. And I think that this information is going to be very eye-opening to those of you that aren't versed on MIGAs. Once that's covered, I can give you a full comparison between the two products and list the pros and cons of each. It doesn't matter what age you are, when the markets are volatile like today, then understanding your investment options that provide you more security and consistency is a valuable lesson to gain. And let's be honest about it, it'll make you look smarter on your coworkers when you're all talking smack about your investments. To get things started, a certificate of deposit is a type of savings product that's offered by banks and credit unions. And there's also an option to buy CDs on what's called the secondary market on an exchange like Fidelity. Think of a CD like a savings account that happens to be on steroids. It is a low-risk investment option that pays a fixed interest rate for a set term, usually ranging anywhere from a few months to a few years. You agree to park your cash in the account for the specified term, and in exchange, the bank agrees to pay you a higher interest rate than a traditional savings account. The deposit is FDIC insured, meaning it's protected up to $250,000 per depositor per institution in the event that the bank fails. CDs are a suitable investment option for individuals who want to save money and earn a guaranteed return with very low risk. But hold up, there is a catch. Early withdrawal is subject to penalties and the funds are locked for the set term of the CD, so access to the money is limited. But wait, there's more. There's not just one, but there's roughly six different types of CDs that I'll speak to today. Aside from the traditional CD, you also have a jumbo CD, which has a higher minimum deposit requirement, often $100,000 or more, and it tends to pay a higher interest rate than the standard CD. Another type of CD is a callable CD that allows the bank to call or redeem the CD before its maturity date. Banks often offer higher rate CDs as being callable because, well, if the interest rate drops, then it's in the bank's best interest to call or cash out that CD so they don't have to keep paying you at that higher interest rate. It's essentially a parachute for banks to bail out on you if things start to improve in their favor. This is where you need to read the fine print. If you don't, you may end up with 15 CDs that somehow cost you $200 due to the shipping and handling fees. Yeah, $19.99 all over again. Next is a bump-up CD, which allows the depositor to increase the interest rate once during the term of their CD. And this is beneficial, especially when rates continue to increase. A bump-up CD tends to offer a little bit of a lower rate than a traditional CD, but it has that added feature to bump up the rate to make you feel a little warm and fuzzy, like you aren't really missing out on those increasing rates. The number of times that you get to increase your rate depends on the bank and the CD product that's offered. Next is a no-penalty CD that allows the depositor to withdraw the funds without any penalty before the maturity date typically with a little bit of a lower interest rate. You typically keep all the interest that's earned by this CD, and you don't have to pay any fees for that early withdrawal. This makes for a perfect option when the markets are going crazy, and you may not want to have all your funds fully tied up in a traditional CD for years on end. It also makes for a safe haven to park your cash for something that you might be saving on the side, like a house renovation, a wedding, or even a family vacation. And the last CD type that I'm talking about today is the add-on CD, where the investor can continue to add their funds throughout the CD's life. This happens to be a great option to have if rates on CDs start to decline sharply. 
You don't want to buy a new CD at a lower rate. And if you have the add-on CD, then you can add your funds to this existing CD at that higher rate. I'm not going to get too deep into each of these CDs, but in the least, I want you to be educated on what the different types are. Now that I've covered the basics of CD products, I'll now define a multi-year guaranteed annuity and why it's called a CD type annuity. If you're anything like me, the moment that I hear the term annuity and anything associated with insurance, it makes me want to cringe and run for the hills. But I've managed to overcome that hurdle and my intent was to explain why Amiga should be a potential investment tool to most all of you at some point in your life. A multi-year guaranteed annuity is a type of fixed annuity that pays a guaranteed interest rate for a specified period typically ranging anywhere from three to 10 years. It is a low risk investment option that offers a guaranteed stream of income. It's very similar to the certificate of deposit, but with the added benefit of a tax deferral if you choose. The tax deferral is achieved when you don't withdraw any of your funds until maturity. This way, the interest is earned and compounded and the funds and the interest grow together year over year. So in some ways, the MIGA is sort of the cool cousin to the CD, but with much better hair. In my case, I would just settle for hair. But here's the catch. MIGAs are only sold by insurance companies, not banks. It looks and feels just like a CD, but the person selling you the investment is wildly different. And because insurance companies are not regulated at the federal level like banks, each state creates the rules and the options for the insurance company selling these products. And since a MIGA is from an insurance company, it doesn't carry with it the FDIC insurance that you get with a CD. Now hold on, don't freak out just yet. Because MIGAs must belong to a state's guarantee association. And the state guarantee association requires insurance on MIGAs that rival that of FDIC. I'll leave a link to the site that lists the amount by state for the insurance coverage required. But most states have a minimum requirement of $250,000 in coverage. But some states, like Connecticut, covers up to $800,000. Once again, the CD and the MIGA are very similar, and when it comes to the options for MIGAs, there are far too many for me to even list. It's like being at a car dealer where they try to keep upselling you on all the different upgrades. And each of these different options available to a MIGA is referred to as a rider. So if you choose to research them further, when you see the term rider, it's referring to that bolt-on extra feature that you can choose to have. But keep in mind, everything comes at a price, and nobody rides for free. For now, I'll simply state what the different types of MIGA are. And the first one is the immediate annuity, where they pay out immediately at a set schedule for the rest of your life. And then there's the deferred annuities that are the tax deferred option where the interest compounds and grows with the principal. And this is the most similar to a CD where the lump sum is available when the product matures. And within the immediate and deferred multi-year guaranteed annuities, there's the option to have them on a fixed rate or a variable rate. But for today's discussion, I'll keep with the fixed rate as a comparison to the CDs for an apples to apples view. As for the the similarities and the pros, both the CDs and the MIGA are very low risk investments. Both offer higher guaranteed rates than a bank account and for a fixed amount of time. They are both insured to keep your investment safe where the CD is at the federal level with an FDIC and the MIGA is at the state level. When it comes to the differences, a CD is more suitable for the short term and the multi-year guaranteed annuity is ideal for the long term investing. A MIGA also offers higher rates than a CD, but you will lock up your funds for a longer period of time in order to get that rate. Also, a MIGA can have tax deferred growth where you don't pay any of the taxes until your funds are withdrawn. And the main difference between the two is that CDs are sold by banks and credit unions while the MIGA is sold by insurance companies. And for both sets of products, you can buy each of them from an exchange like Fidelity but that does come with its own set of nuances. And as for the cons, they both have steep penalties for withdrawing your funds early. Unless, of course, you have the no penalty CD, but with that particular item, the rate is much lower than the traditional CD. And next, the rates may not be competitive with inflation. And over time, these items are definitely not as competitive as the stock market. Overall, the main con with these products is that your funds are gonna be locked up for a set time period. Now we'll get started with the first CD with the best rate available today, which is from a bound credit union at a rate of 5% for six months, and the interest compounds quarterly. The minimum purchase amount for the CD is at $500, which is roughly middle of the road. If you invested $10,000 on this CD, your interest earned would be around $251.56, with an APY of just over 5% due to the compounding interest. This credit union is located in Kentucky, and it may be a good option for those of you that live in that area. 
But for the rest of you, I think I have a few more options that you might be interested in. The next highest CD available is at Capital One that is also at 5%, but it's for 11 months where the interest compounds monthly. Compounding monthly is a much better option than quarterly, like the previous CD, where the interest earned on this CD is $468, where the APY with compounding interest is at 5.11%. And the best part? There is no minimum deposit required for purchasing this CD. Capital One is a national bank that is both online and has physical stores where they offer a ton of different features and products. I'm fairly certain that most all of you are familiar with their credit cards because they have incredible brand awareness. And when you bring all those things together, it adds to a level of comfort in choosing them for your business. The only true side with this CD is that it's offered for an unusual time frame at only 11 months. But what if you wanted to have this level of return for two years? Then that brings me to the next CD from Sally May that is offered on the Save Better website. And this is one of those CDs where they are sort of trying to pull the wool over our eyes. I say that because technically their CD has an interest rate of only 4.88% for a term of 27 months where the interest compounds monthly. In this case, your interest earned is just over $1,100 where the APY comes out at 4.99%, but they market this CD as being 5%. This is where you need to understand how they play their games and what you need to look for. And for each of the CDs that I've spoken to thus far, they each have a penalty for withdrawing any of the funds prior to the maturity date. Each bank has a different set of penalties where you're going to need to read their specific terms. It often requires that you give up anywhere from three to six months worth of interest even if you haven't fully earned that interest. Meaning that if you take it out too early, you may be paying them money. Please do not make that mistake. Next, I'll show you what a CD option looks like on an exchange like Fidelity, and then I'll show you even higher interest rates offered from a multi-year growth annuity or a CD type annuity. Before moving on, I do have a favor to ask of you. If you like my content, please press that like button so that my channel on YouTube can continue to grow. And better yet, consider subscribing so that you can be up to date with all of my latest content. Thanks so much. So when I go on Fidelity and search for CDs, it brings up a screen that shows me the best rate offered from three months all the way up to 10 years. Currently, none of the options here compare to the others that I had covered in this video. And one major difference with buying CDs on an exchange is that the interest is at a flat rate and not a compounding rate like those offered by banks. But a key benefit from buying on the exchange is that instead of having fees for an early withdrawal, instead you can choose to sell your CDs on the open market, which is referred to as the secondary market. You may need to offer your CD with a bit of a discount in order to sell it, but it should be much less than a penalty that you would get from a traditional CD at a bank. But the interesting area on an exchange is the section for secondary CDs. This is where you can find CDs above 5%, like these examples here. And you'll want to make sure that the CD is not callable. Here it is listed as call protected, so the bank can't call it back. When buying a CD on an exchange, you still enter into the purchase agreement with that bank offering the CD, so you still keep the FDIC coverage. So long as it is a US bank, and you'll want to make sure that it has an FDIC coverage ID. I could probably do an entire video on buying a CD on an exchange, but for now, I need to move on to the MIGAs. As I mentioned at the beginning, a MIGA is offered from an insurance company and it has state requirements for coverage just like FDIC has for banks. And the MIGAs will be for longer terms like three to 10 years. And I need to state that I'm not being paid by any of these companies that I'm speaking to today. I'm merely trying to showcase the options for the highest rates available. The first multi-year guaranteed annuity is from Atlantic Coast Life, which is at 5.53% for three years, where the minimum contribution is $5,000 and it goes all the way up to $1 million. The product is referred to as a safe haven where the first year's rate is at 6.2% and then years two and three, it's at 5.2% where the aggregate is at 5.53%. Florida residents get a little less than the rest of the country because one of the features, the death benefit feature, is built into the cost for Florida. And this is how where your specific state laws and your age can impact the features offered by the MIGA. In this case, the death benefit is added protection for the beneficiary. If a person passes away before the MIGA matures, then it can be passed on to the beneficiary less any accrued interest without incurring any penalty. And this particular MIGA is deferred where the interest is compounding tax-free until you withdraw the funds at maturity. And just like a CD, when it does mature, you have the option to either cash it out or reinvest it in a like item. Atlantic Coast Life was founded in 1925 and has an AM best rating of a B++, which is considered to be good. The AM best rating is a system that rates insurance companies based on their relative financial strength and overall comparison to the other companies. 
And the last multi-year guaranteed annuity is from Ibexis with its MIGA Plus offering that is for five years at 5.8% with a minimum of $10,000 and a maximum of $1.5 million. Ibexis was founded in 1937 and is now located in Lincoln, Nebraska with an AM rating of an A-, which happens to be excellent. The interest rate is not compounding, but it is a simple interest rate. And by looking at the surrender charges, whatever you take out before maturity will be at a loss of 7.75% and down to 6% depending on the year that you take it out early. And early withdrawals must be at least $500. There's no doubt about it, you are making a commitment with a product like this because you're locking up your funds for a very long time. But if you happen to be in a place in your life where locking up your funds for five years isn't an issue, then a multi-year guaranteed annuity is perfect because it acts just like a CD and it happens to be insured and you also get a guaranteed rate of return. I've managed to discuss how a CD offers great rates for shorter time periods and the multi-year growth annuity offers those same great rates for the longer term. I hope that you were able to learn something new from today's video and thanks for watching.